Blessed be his name. All right, we're still on Ezekiel 33. Then we'll do a child dedication. Then I'll take a few questions. I'll go into my charge for today. And then we'll be able to build more questions because we'll continue the series. Ezekiel chapter 33 from verse 1 to 7. Um, maybe we should not maybe we should not stop in self itself. Okay. But let's let's go. Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coasts and set him for their watchman. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Now I want you to journey um, deliberately. The Bible did not say if the sword come upon the land the Bible says, if when he seeth, this sight is an advanced sight. Are you with me? So, there is currently no sword upon the land, but his watchman or the nation has gifted him the possibility to spy into the coming future and he can warn. The Bible says, then, whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take it not warning because there is a possibility to hear the sound of a trumpet and not take the warning there is a virtue in the spirit that we refer to as anakazu anakazu is translated as a compelling force what i'm saying is that the sound of the watchman does not have anakazu it means if it had an akazo, there will be no possibility for anybody to do otherwise. Are you with me? So his sound still exposes those who hear it to the privilege of choice. Stay with me. And take it not warning. If the sword come, so you see the sword has not come, and take him away, that's the one who did not take the warning, his blood shall be upon his own head. Why? He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul delivers his soul is also different from shall deliver the warning is an advanced warning and what is expected is that when the warning comes in advance there is a preparatory labor to mitigate the impact of the sword because the sword will come by a sovereign will if I so it's me that is working are you with me? Okay, I'm still confused why I'm doing watchman inside concept of prayer. Stay with me. But if the watchman see the sword, now this is the plague of a watchman. If he see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, that person who is taken, he is taken away in his iniquity. His blood will I require at whose hands? At the watchman's hand. So, thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me let's look at verse 8 uh, 
when i say unto the wicked oh wicked man thou shalt surely die if thou dost not warn the wicked from his way that wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will i require at thy hand the life of a watchman is precarious mercy has gifted him an ordination that gives him the privilege that's within the ordination to be able to see what the people are not seeing meanwhile the watchman has no ground to boast because the privilege is for the people are you with me we cannot all be watchmen there are those that are appointed his privilege is for the people his potencies are for the people but a time may come in the life of the watchman where the weight of God's utterances are judged to be too weighty for the people to bear and so what the watchman can do because he also has a choice what the watchman can do is to be mute however because the evil will come it's a sovereign will that is bringing it people will be wasted and god will not hold guilty any man who was wasted god will hold the watchman i had to go back into my closet to begin a fresh study on the concept of prayer a few years ago i was startled by the feedbacks as recorded in scriptures of the prayers of the lord and so i decided to do a study it took me five human years to do a step-by-step -step study of the subject of prayer I i'm not boasting to be a good student but when that time comes um many of the things i learned which I am still back testing will be taught. However, I have been locked in a controversy. And the last few weeks, that's upper week, the Lord told me the enemy has muffled the sounds of the watchman. Come back and explain it. So the admonition is every channel that took that controversy should find these utterances and refeed it to the people because a day of darkness is coming and it will come many of you don't know the background but it is being noised and not only in Nigeria because I get calls from everywhere Canada, Australia the UK you were in my house yesterday Lambda, when I got two notifications from the UK why are you against early morning prayers early morning online prayers well, I came to make my position clear that I am not against early morning prayers. However, I am a watchman. God announced it in the secret and you were there when it was announced in the open. International Prophetic Conference. What year was that? 2019. Oh, you were there. Rebeniza, you were there. I give you eyes like a searchlight. Like the ones FBI used to find criminals. Your eyes will sweep through the territory. And if you see and warn, and people yield, they will be safe. But those that disdain your utterances will suffer. From that time, I have begun to handle the communications of the Lord with great fear and trembling. We are not going to tell the story of our nation yet. But there are two Davids. And may God give you understanding. And it's your David. Then my David. We wait. I had the privilege of. I was sharing with them in the lawn yesterday. That that cut out on. Apostle Aramis son. And they had to tie it to Papa. You know. Says the damage of online prayers. One. The bloggers need to be more spiritual so that yes because the corrective ministry galatians 6 1 galatians 6 1 brethren 
if a man be overtaken in a fault can we read together ye which are spiritual that's the first handle that a defender of the faith or one who has a corrective ministry must have you must be spiritual it means that your labors must pertain to that of a spirit in our case the spirit so if you just cut and post cut and post and you don't do it spiritually what you may be doing in your mind will be something that somewhat positions you as a son of God while we do not have the powers to douse that consciousness you may also be a friend of Satan that the topics which are designed to be catchy because many of the pages are may God give you understanding um, you want something that will draw people you can be guilty of muffling what God is saying and so everybody has to be careful many times our sounds become uncertain because of the error from bloggers I prayed for this thing I'm doing that's why I'm not emotional I pray. They said we should not do it in motions. I'm here. So, spiritual and they must restore to one, sort one in the spirit of meekness. That's the second handle. You must possess the spirit of meekness and you must function by it. Considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. It means you must also journey on a third layer with the consciousness that you can fall into the same trap. If you know the location of that salmon, you will know why God allowed it to go out. Because that salmon was not preached in Bomosho, was not preached in Lagos, it was preached in a small town. I think it's out of respect that I say it's a small town. It's a village, and it was not preached in the village, it was preached on a mountain. The place is called Akbomo. How many people know Abom? When you get to Ikiri, there are two mountains on the other side of Ikiri. There's the Koi mountain and there's the Abom mountain. Both of them CAC mountains. How can something that was preached in Abom be causing tremors in the body? Can we not first discern, and I'm appealing to you in this house, that God had an intention? Because we have gone for meetings in towns. There are no get recording. They have been telling us for two years that they will send our recording. And when they send the recording, the, even the audio, which is cheaper to do, is bad. How come that video was that clear? The emphasis was not something that we projected as a house. So it didn't come from HWCM pages. So, how did it go out? Who found it? These are the issues. I was sharing with someone during the week. I said many of those who are who feel that they say they are a jealous people, they just think they know much. When they come to Bumashu and see the size of our building, they will not talk again. Because they know that you cannot be in our size of building and be jealous of big people, except you are a psychiatric case. We don't have too much to boast about. We don't have an audience. But the size of following, and like people say, the size of results has nothing to do with your ordination. If he calls you a watchman, you better do your job or there will be blood in your hands. That's why we are vocal. I think the October contact will be contending for the faith. And one of the things that we stress is this threefold handle. Being spiritual. Being possessing the spirit of meekness and possessing the consciousness that you can also be tempted. If we run by this, all of us will be tempered. And it, our utterances will travel better. Rem remember, some people will always fight because some people will not yield. So, 
95% of my audience was from the city of Lagos. And like first time ministering to people I've never seen before. We need to prime them into a place where the utterances of God can be heard. And they could not pray. I wish I had the video for my meeting there this year. I cried, wept for almost 35 minutes. Because it was the first place I went to preach when somebody rose in the congregation. Kinon Sorosokejo, physically. And I was almost drawn to use the edge of my sword to cut. So I had to warn the person my sword can bless, but it can also cause effectively. Don't make God angry. Don't let him send a curse word. Be careful. We are not all the same. I kept preaching. And I saw how they were closed in heart. And when I took stock, I found out that they had become slaves of the prophetic dimension. There were people who did not think that there was any demand for alignment they just felt that if they were under a strong prophetic voice, their lives would find advancement. Thank God for the gift of the prophetic dimension. We honor it. Oh, sometimes I go online to just read miracles and to celebrate what God is doing with our brethren everywhere in the world. But I found out that sometimes when people get so used to the staring of the pool, when the reality of the steering comes, they can't recognize him. So that he comes. And you are still speaking about the last expression. I have not a man. The man is standing beside you. Was that my sermon during the week? I prayed for, a, uh, for uh, one of our brothers in uh, Big Brothers anyways. A lot older than me. Um, on um, the mercy of God. My first sermon... Was, um, I think it's already on our pages. Yes. But video online. Is the video online? That me. Eh? Okay. The first day I preached on the, the colors. No, I didn't put the colors of the mercy of God. About five or six layers of mercy that were administered at the pool in Solomon's porch, the pool of Bethsaida. The mercy that preserves till mercy comes. The mercy that relocates to the place of mercy. The mercy that queries so that we know the reasons for the long-standing captivity. The mercy that commands captivity. The mercy that brings the reality of um, fulfillment. I said a, little, a few more. I think maybe there were about five or six. And then for the second session, I preached on the spirit of mercy. The spirit of mercy. Oh, transport of mercy. To reveal that in trying to route mercy from heaven, from the throne room, you can't route mercy. Because there are only seven spirits in the throne room. The seven spirits of God. And so we went through scriptures to carefully itemize these seven spirits the spirit of the lord which was which has six tributaries that function in pairs according to isaiah 11 the spirit of truth which brings the witness of heaven to the earth the spirit of life that's what occasions the reality of the quickening spirit um what other ones the spirit of grace which is the communication of all of the supernatural abilities of Christ. The spirit of glory. Which is the communication of the congregated attributes of God. God is merciful. So when you want mercy, it's the spirit of glory that leaves the throne. And when it comes and okay, the cry for mercy is occasioned, it releases one of the attributes of God that is mercy. And that's how you are implicated with mercy. I didn't finish naming the spirits. Which other ones did I miss? Because somebody may be, may be right. Um, okay. So, yes, the spirit of truth, the spirit of life, the spirit of holiness. It's the spirit of holiness that, that secures God's consecration to himself. 
so if you are trusting god for dedication for devotion for constancy is the spirit of holiness that occasions it then we also have the spirit of adoption that's the spirit that descends when you call jesus lord and the sign is that in your heart a cry is occasioned you can now call god father with confident assurance then you have the spirit of grace the spirit of the lord and then you have the spirit of glory so those are the seven spirits of god the bible says all of them are on the lamp as eyes all of them are before the throne as blazing lamps and all of them are sent into all of the earth so they are messenger essences of the single holy ghost amen okay why did we go to that now how you are carried away eh? and how did we get to mercy okay so well i don't know where we got to in my delivery but the prophetic is key it's not just an advancing tool it's a maturing tool how do i know because the bible says that he gave some to be apostles to be prophets evangelists pastors and teachers it is for the building up of the body and it is for the work of the ministry are you with me so we recognize the energies of the prophetic dimension and i will not be smart to speak against the dimension of the prophetic office that occasions interventions but the church in our nation is dying and that's the sound of the watchman how can we gather together 2500 young people from the city of lagos and we did not tell them to pray that the minister can preach well we told them to pray to save themselves from what was coming and they were close to being mute that one this year when i saw that they were not flowing i began to cry i cried standing and i knelt and i started crying weeping lord how can they be this much they must not waste and the lord said your tears cannot meet up with the requirement to occasion change you must be many that mourn so i asked him how do we increase he said you have imparted people with graces there is also the spirit of mourning and so i rose up as an obedient servant stretched forth my right hand and decreed that will be many that mourn and i saw people in two minutes grab their stomachs in pain and begin to weep until we had we became many that month and so i picked up my bible and walked through the congregation i went to lodge myself I, because if i stay in their lodging i will not have paid sufficient price to make jesus afflict them if they gave me food it will have reduced my sacrifice so i decided to go far to lodge pay from my pocket pay for my food so that when they are counting the sacrifice component they will see all those things paid for my transport to leave in the night i didn't wait for them to come and pick me i took bike one k bike at 11 30 to go for the vigil i wanted to have an abundance of sacrifices so that jesus can afflict their souls the testimony of many of these young ones is that they have a prayer life that's where the problem is what does your prayer life look like I join four online prayers in the morning I start here and you know that those people are not constant people they, they move around based on the emphasis of the prayer meeting so what are they doing there is how to make money I have money already his wife I'm looking for so they look for one that has wife and they flip is it wrong to seek interventions no so we don't have any issue against morning prayers but the utterances as by God predicted an event that will happen in how many years five years so it is not spiritually balanced that's the most non derogatory word I can use there are other words that will draw me into trouble but it's not spiritually balanced 
to judge an utterance that was predicted to take place in five years you cannot see it you are not a watchman you can't judge it you can't see it and the fear with which the utterances were dispensed was the sight that the watchman was permitted by mercy to see knowing that if he did not announce because of the fear of the people their blood will be in his hands because a day will come when fathers will no longer be able to cover their families a day will come when the average minister will become so busy and the things that we used to do for people will be done i was telling somebody who called me he said i spoke to my pastor about this thing i think it was marital issues and the pastor said um, he walks and i said see let me tell you a secret when a pastor says he walks that that's the will of god go and pray oh. pastor has his own problems sometimes he discharges you with a positive word because he doesn't want you to disturb him so when i tell some of you i'm going to spend time to pray and by the following morning i'm saying that thing and i write in bold letters with exclamation marks patience is because i want to find truth because I, before i speak to you many ministers are not spiritual to be spontaneous as is demonstrated it's just a discharge mechanism may god give you understanding um give me galatians 6 2 2 2 2 oh yeah quickly 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 bear you one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of christ that's the ministry of seeking counsel 6 6 6 um okay let's go from i think five is what i need is it five four He said we should bear each other's bodies. But Paul is also saying that. Pay the price of finding God. My auntie, the one who raised me in the university. And I was telling her this afternoon. She's over 50, but she looks like a 30-year-old. So I had to tell auntie, oh, what's this thing? She has not answered. But if she's hearing now, I need an answer sent me a message and said i saw this online and what dropped in my heart was auntie's afraid for me i now sent her a voice note auntie don't be afraid though. it's just it's, it's the fear of god that's making us talk like that auntie now said aburo i'm not afraid for you i'm afraid for myself i know what i used to be with god i cannot claim that i am no longer praying because there are systems i join that occasion miracles that cannot be doubted but i cannot say that i still hear god i cannot say that if i need to source counsel from god i still understand the protocols it's been long the height of the prayer experiences in the new testament is not results it's fellowship and one of the signs that you are in fellowship is that there is a progressive deformation which Paul refers to as conformity to the image of Christ. We were not saved just to be getting from him. And so we celebrate. It, it's a whole lot of sacrifice to be up in the morning to lead prayers and to do it on behalf of people. So we celebrate those who are doing early morning prayers. And that discourse was not about them when the day of those doing any morning prayers comes jesus will speak through me or speak to another person because we have researched and found out that some people god sent them some people think it's a way to make money and i'm saying some people some people some people some people god sent them some people felt oh we can also make money i just heard two days ago that some people are doing it because they don't want their church members to join the existing ones they own them in the physical but they also want to own them online. <laughs> it's a sad day. What we are saying to those who do early morning prayers is that what our fathers call devotion is wider than that. 
that experience is not what our fathers called a prayer life because the true prayer life is a life of prayer it's, and it, it embraces that's what we do in the concept of prayer it embraces more than the act of prayer there is the posture of prayer that even if my mouth and my heart is not moving God knows that I am in expectation there is the answer of prayer there is the result of prayer there is also the reward of prayer which does not look like your answer is something else God begins to do to you because you are there is also the product of prayer and it's a man likened unto Christ he that walketh with the wise shall be so if you pray long one of the proofs of prayer is that your life will express a wisdom that is after the order of the person you are praying to not swear to I told them in the learning if you pray long you will you will physically twist I know some people start with twistedness but there is the possibility of twisting if you are agonized in prayer but ensure that your heart twists before your body twists so that the change because the twisting is a bending prayer positions you in the direction of the true light like a bean seed planted by the window it will bend but make sure that the bending starts from within and not from without if not time we test every man's work and that's what we are saying you will find out that we will show up and like I told them or like I want to announce that someone is last year April I don't know why it was silent last year maybe it's because of the urgency that God has exhumed it I have a little understanding of the working knowledge of God there are things that he brings as emphasis that may be against the norm but only the wise will yield he knows what he's doing and that's why hell cannot quench the travel of that thing it will stay in people's eyes the calls I got from UKS they were no warnings they were like his, his elder sister saw it and said Kai Kai this thing is true I challenge you if you have ever had a sound work with God you will believe me only those who have tasted fellowship with God can believe what we are saying but every man will come to the same conclusion it was five years it's four years now and we are still counting pastor judah do you get this pray for me pray for me pray for me things on on, on what on facebook messages now people just pick my number and send me direct whatsapp message i have this problem i have this problem pray for me pray for me i asked one of them how many hours have you prayed on this thing he said eh, i cannot even pray i said me i can't spend my life wasting praying for people who think they are not troubled enough to pray if any man be afflicted let him maybe you can't do kappa, 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 kappa. sit and say god i am in trouble you will not owe money i said you will not owe money there is no specialized way of praying when you owe money sometimes the only thing you'll be saying Jesus ha no Shanum is long sometimes it's only Anu mercy oh mercy after a while you will go and it will become oh ha oh I, I went with a friend to a meeting and the pastor said a prayer is not specific there is no answer so I was waiting for what he was saying. That all these prayers, ah, Baba, Oluwa, it's not prayer. So I now whispered to my friend, a younger friend. I said, I don't believe him. Inside the sermon, I said, he read a book on prayer. I'm at a loss for words. And oh, oh, oh. My heart sings so oh. <laughs> Hey, come on, man, if it's so not Oh, 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 o
my heart sings oh those who are leading the prayers to start teaching prayer because that's not the aim but I came from a family that used to do morning devotion and I understand the purpose of a morning devotion that it is it is a, 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 a threefold chord of spiritual reality of, um, of the word and of prayer are you with me? There must be clearly seen the entrance of people into a person's specific fellowship with God because when they got saved, I know it's not in scriptures, but pastors have added personal to the mandate of salvation. Today I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. The future of the church will thrive on the personal motions. Or sorry on the ability of believers to sense the personal motions of the spirit i've also found out that energy is the not it's not the only thing that god has in helping people it also comes by wisdom and that wisdom must be something that you have fellowshiped with so that you can know it when it is spoken the demand for headship is great marriages are collapsing now in two weeks in three weeks i asked a casual question somewhere i said do you believe that this person you married do you? i said is the person that you married does the person have a fellowship with god the person said eh, i believe you believe how many years did you cut four years plus and you believe you know what i believe means somehow somehow sisters you need to back test your, your, your will be husband's hearing capacity you need to bring before them answers that you have and create them as questions so that the man struggles to find the voice of God you cannot be under a man who cannot hear God even if he's an engineer you will suffer brothers because we are breadwinners sometimes we grow weak in our bodies and with weakened bodies comes a dulling of spiritual sensitivity that's why the enemy affects your body if you marry a wife who cannot hear the voice of Jesus you will waste too and it doesn't take long to waste you are only sick for two days that gap the enemy can exploit and scatter your life you will use another 20 years to find two days make sure that as you sustain your motions in the morning you get a prayer life one that is just you and your Lord that's our emphasis it is from that one between you and your Lord that your senses of perception are awakened and you have not known the joy of fellowship with the economy of God until you can perceive him. That's the that's the that's the product that advertises that truly you are born again. You may be a counterfeit born again Christian. It's the sign is not speaking in tongues. Except a man be born again, he cannot see perceive the kingdom. Can you perceive him? Because of lack of perception, many times the things we think we need 
that drive us into prayers are not the things he's offering us and may God not answer you in giving you what he doesn't want for you I was in law yesterday and I was in a meeting and God's handmaiden ah, have wished for long for like 10 years to meet her that same um, professor I know about you when she came in, I told her from afar, I said, See, Mio, I, I love you. I love you. Elderly, very respectful, accomplished. You know her now. She acts with Mount Zion. Very accomplished. Help me find her picture. She's a, she's a good woman. Mommy said, There are prayers. She can't pray for us in English. How do you interpret? Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, no. The second one, she said, There's another one. Is that all of one need a keg, big, keg? Are the prayers the same? It means the bone might be your bone, but that bone has not got into a place where it becomes a good bone. It's your egg, but it's a egg, keg. Why is it taking this long? Man? You have not seen, eh? No, so that's mom. That's mom. She's not only beautiful. You know, she speaks like she has not lived in the lonely before. Sailor. Very graceful, and that's one encounter I've had with many of those mommies that ask for my time. Many of them are super anointed. Woo! You need to be on that mommy by Louis ministration. It's not just utterance. It's the way we are not doing impartation. It's ease. She waves her hand and demons are screaming and jumping out of people. I was humble today, and I had the privilege to stay in the same building we have for one full day. So I saw our state life with her husband, and I learned a lot. Sailor. May your lives inspire another generation. So if you are in the city of Loin, I'll be ministering at their youth conference in uh, a few weeks time. I think my session is on the 17th of, um, of August. So be in that meeting. Be in that meeting. God will grant us the due of heaven. And it will bring instruction. So that's my delivery. So we are not against any morning prayers. Enjoy it or get a prayer life. There is a coming darkness and we cannot pray it away and it will cover the earth and if in that day you have not left the earth from which you have been receiving from god if you have not journeyed into a greater corridor by fellowship because the fourth layer of fellowship is transportation with if you have not gone beyond the earth it means darkness will cover you our security is that we are no longer in the earth a portal has opened in fellowship for I have found a place where I can lay my head it's the holy presence of the Lord that's where we are living my address hold it my address is the presence of God on the G of Bumosho. So if there's noise, bleep, 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 you will find that my arm settled because it can be disturbing on that G. It has to be able to pierce into the presence before it reaches me. I know that you and the families that you came from will by the favor of God come into supplies. I know that this darkness that is choking the poor. They said we should breathe. And I'm wondering if they didn't tell us to breathe. What would they have done to us? This darkness that is choking the poor. We not choke your family soon. Someone here must come into the consciousness of who they are in Christ. And what you will do is you use your position of favor to carry your whole family and bring them into the presence. Even the unsaved in your family will survive because you have found a way of smuggling them. You include them in yourself and you bring them to the presence. 
that's how to win now is somebody with me so that's my submission on early morning prayers i know there may be questions when we get into the question time you can ask but that's my submission the enemy of god's best is not many times bad is the good that we have found and when there's a journey to come up hither we are not willing to come because man is shaped to embrace what is working he's afraid to let go of what is working that he might come into what was designed to work when will you become a miracle worker and my closing statement was my closing statement there are protocols that cannot produce strong men. Because on the path of becoming strong, every man must embrace the discipline. If I put you on early morning prayers tomorrow, all things are possible with God. Will you be bold enough to do it and call for solutions? Can you? We can start tomorrow. The reason why you'll be afraid is that you have not proved him too much on a personal note. So if I do not give you the opportunity to prove him on a personal note, when I am no longer around, there will be a gap. Many ministries in Nigeria will suffer because currently they are thriving by the energies of the set men. The covenants of the set men that those who are coming behind cannot smell this is 2023 we are seven years to the 100th anniversary of the call that I of Babalola stepped into in 1930 how many men of his stature have we produced people are still using his gate but within that space of 100 years men have showed up who lived and their journey through the earth was like a snake on a rock left no impact their children will still call the God of Ayobabalola because when Ayobabalola found God and downloaded him on many mountains contemporary men have not been able to curate God in the earth I was in Ibadan, Joseph's church in Ibadan on Monday and I was telling them do you know that there is a gap in Ibadan now who, who, who put his feet into Babola wear his shoes it's not a shoe that one man can wear Ilori the gaps have been piling thank God that some of the patriarchs are still alive I have watched Babadio for a few years and I'm afraid if men can step into his shoes because what people see is power my closeness has made me see consecration about Kumu, he did press conference in Lao Tekabi. You saw Abu ran on the stage and were trying to touch the stage for impartations. What hosts those graces is many years of consecration. When would we begin our journey of deformity into the shape of our fathers? If it was that easy, there would have been no Idaosa, there would have been no Elti, no Babalola, no Babo Yelami, no Baba Konde. No pastor Adeboe, no pastor W.F. Kumui. I'm just talking about the top fathers. Um, there's a name that has kept my heart. No Daniel Olukoya. But when they leave, if mighty men have not risen, the key is this, Pastor Judah. Many of those ancient African ministries began to embody darkness when the set men went. Because the pastors that remained could not occasion the realities of the men that passed. So they will still be calling the name of Jesus, but one moon come. On. And honestly, they are not wicked men, they are good men who want to sustain potency. So uh, they will call his name, but what they will have they will have what do they call that? There's an English name. Incisions. They will have incised their tongues. Say it and get it. 
so we are fighting darkness in many of those churches now but we are recreating the gap for darkness because church we need to be potent and if they are impotent men satan will advise that's my cross let us build well because i have a word from the lord for ministry in nigeria many who have not labored accurately young men laboring now certain fathers who have derailed for many years will not die young don't wait to, for people to die to take their place they will live long because jesus told me they will be alive to see what their errors produced build well oh. because the normal route is that somebody now prays and says let me die and then they escape no 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 they'll be around that in the days they no longer have strength they will find out that their children cannot fight giants and they will need to rise from from their beds of weariness to still command deliverance to the body of christ because a new set of ranking men have not been effectively raised i was scrolling through facebook uh, youtube and i heard that Selman said something yesterday morning through youtube yes he said glory to god we have seen miracles we have seen signs we have seen wonders he said but we'll be foolish you know there's a way he speaks he will go respectfully speaking we will be how do you respect us and call us foolish he said respectfully speaking we will be foolish to think that we are like our fathers he said can you see the energy we put in to occasion the atmosphere of the spirit we clash cymbals so that people can pray and ascend we play sounds we chant we do all those things that the Akwami walked into their building last year was impartation time he said nobody should pray don't, don't talk to anybody don't pray my graces with which I have done ministry this year receive that's all it did it was like a wind from heaven woo 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 have you seen Dr. Boyle before in impartations does he look like our own touch them eat them move, move them sit on them and then if our numbers are not complete do not beg Jesus again to say Lord but you showed me 12 if you listen to me what you think is power it won't be like that forever because I'm on a journey that thing is a sign of weakness say Jesus I plead with you you showed me 12 these are only 5 can you please give me the balance we trust in your mess we trust in your mess and then he touches every other person and you are comforted our fathers are not like us it's because they chose a difficult road it's the hard way and it's the only way and turn back back we're cooking to yourself fast for yourself pray for yourself when people send me messages now they'll say sir please pray for me but i know what you will say you will say that i should go and pray yes for men not always to pray and not to faint so that's my submission on online prayers i think with these few points of mind i brought to you my watchman perspective but you have a choice to heed a warning that we are just four years away from great darkness that will befall the church if we do not arise and find the christ and get a personalized prayer life the early morning prayer is a prop that you are not using your personal prayer to chase solutions you are to chase using it to chase a knowing so you get solutions in the morning you use the rest of the day to power yourself into a knowing so early morning prayer is mercy from god it's not the design Selah. god has an expectation God has a plan to see his expectation met but the generation must come in alignment and we say yes to Jesus Ibarasia Tabo Meka Baba Kamande Kaidatos We will hold nothing Jesus 
you want a generation we offer you one let the waiting come to an end 